Dan, I'm Pitts Quattrone for The Getaway on WDEV FM and AM. And joining us this afternoon, it's Vermont's own Tim Brick. Hey, Tim. How you doing? All right. How's it going over there? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. All right. So you got a big show coming up this Saturday, the 6th, at the Rawhide Rodeo at Thunder Road, 6 o'clock, with your band. Yep. And, Very uh, excited about it. That's, a, that's Happy for the opportunity. Yeah, that sounds like a really cool thing. Yeah, I saw a couple uh, rodeos when I was down in Texas, and uh, the, the, yeah, no, I, it's like anything. You see it on TV, and it's like one thing, but when you're there in person, and you see, um, especially the bull riding, the size, and just the the brute strength of these animals, and mm. uh, but you know, it's funny because every watching it, I still have the same opinion. I'm like, well, that thing obviously doesn't want you on its back, uh, so <laughs> why do you keep getting on it? <laughs> <laughs> right, common sense. Well, that's just me, though. <laughs> that's probably the idea. Uh, yeah, but it's it, it was a wonderful thing to experience. Uh, they had the the Bronco riding too, which was very good. And they, uh, I was uh, mentioning to a buddy of mine earlier that one of my favorite things about it was they call it the mutton runs. I don't know if they'll have them up here in this, at this event, but it's when they uh, they put the kids on uh, these sheep <laughs> and then they you know, they open the gate and it's it's the same concept you know yeah uh, whatever kid can stay on longest wins and uh but it was it was very cute and uh but it it was nice to see because these it's, it's bringing the younger generation up and around these animals and uh it's kind of like going to uh the tumbridge fair but you get a much more interactive experience with the <laughs> livestock there hands on oh yeah <laughs> but it'll be fun i'm glad to see thunder road um kind of a uh, trying something different and something new besides you know the the regular race circuits and events that they have i think it's a That's great right. facility to utilize so yeah it's a great venue so before we go any further how about a song sure uh this is a lead track off my new cd um uh this is a song called country style i thought it'd be a good opener for the show faded jeans and dirt roads old dogs and country stores a handshake and a smile Never go out of style Where I come from Pick up trucks and cold beer Cruising on a John Deere It's a simple way of life That feels so right We're Rolling round here Where everybody knows your name They're always there to lend you need to lock your doors at night to keep the world outside when you're living country style Sometimes with a cool breeze shade under a maple tree and old swimming hole where all the local folk go so jump on in Sparks are in the moonlight A blue eye dream the whole time You let your head down Shake it all around Lord and go wild Where everybody knows your name They're always there to lend you a hand No need to lock your doors at night To keep the world outside Oh 
That's Vermont's own Tim Brick. That's the lead track from his Just Passing Through CD. Tim Brick here in the studios of WDEV FM and AM. So, Tim, what's uh, you got the band with you on uh, Saturday night, is that correct? Yes. Yep. And what's the line up there? Uh, well, I have uh, Waterbury's own George Seymour. Uh, he's uh, <laughs> on the pedal steel guitar. Uh, we'll be doing some fiddle work and uh, also some banjo. Um, got Gary Spaulding on drums, and uh, a gentleman out of Williamstown uh, by the name of Scott Cornet on bass guitar, and then uh, just me uh, doing the the guitar work. So. All right, that sounds like a rocking band. Yeah, it's a you know it's easier cut that way when you got just four guys. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> All right, Tim Brick is performing with his band Saturday night at six o'clock at Thunder Road, part of the Rawhide Rodeo. If you want some more information on that, give a call to the Thunder Road office eight zero two two four four six nine six three or two four four six nine. Six four. So what else is happening with you music wise? What are you up to? Oh, just uh, right now I'm just gigging a lot. Um, I'm I'm writing. Um, I haven't gotten uh, gotten stuff ready to go into the studio yet for my next project, but I'm kind of just in the the germination stage, I guess, right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, but uh, in the meantime, I'm just uh, working my tail off trying to get out there and uh, get my music to as many people as I can. And, cool. Uh, Pay the bills, you know. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I know. I understand that concept. So, uh, you, what what gigs do you have coming up? Well, uh, let me see. This actually Friday. Uh, if you're up in the Newport area, I'm going to be uh, playing at the Newport Country Club and uh, doing an acoustic duo thing. Uh, me and George Seymour will be up there uh, from I believe seven to nine o'clock. And then next week, um, let me see. I'm at Dog River Tavern. Um, down in Berlin, it's a new brewery, huh. uh, fairly new. I think they opened up earlier this year, and uh, so I'll be there. I believe October thirteenth. Um, Is that Berlin, Vermont? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's right down, uh, right across from Midstate Dodge and the old uh, Zares Complex. Oh, yeah. Area. Cool. Uh, it's actually right where the old Radio Shack used to be. They turned it into a brewery, which is wow. Yeah, I know. It's like. <laughs> Shopping center brewery. Yeah, I know. It's uh, one of those things you just never know, I guess. And, hey. Um, and then I guess uh got a few acoustic things coming up, and then a uh, uh, full band gig will be up in Montgomery Center at the Snowshoe Lodge and Pub on November 10th. I believe it's the opening se- uh, night of rifle season. Okay. Um, and uh, doing uh, some mainly a lot of acoustic stuff. Have, I haven't got too many full band gigs uh, lined up uh for the holiday season, and I'm currently just booking my 2019 uh, season. Um, but if you want a complete rundown of where I'm going to be, uh, you can go to timbrickmusic.com. Uh, it's got my full schedule up there. And if you're on Facebook or Twitter, I'm always posting uh, my shows up there as well. So. Cool. So the website is timbrickmusic.com. Yes. Yeah. All right. How about another song? Sure. Uh, actually, this is a, this will be the first time that anyone's ever heard this song. This is uh, I wrote this uh, about a month ago, or maybe a couple months now. Time flies. Uh, but I'm hoping this will be on the next album. This is a little tune called uh, One Step from Fallen. Tied up and twisted, wrapped around your finger. A certified fool. Sign sealed and delivered. I tried my best to leave you behind, but your love is a staying kind. One step from falling in love with you. My heart says, Wait, my body wants to kick you.
Whenever you put the new CD out, that song's got to be on it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> now I just got to write a bunch more. You know? <laughs> All right. Well, that's a start right there. That's right. Yep. Our guest is Tim Brick in the Getaway Studios at WDEV today. Tim and his band playing a big show this coming Saturday night at part of the Rawhide Rodeo at Thunder Road, 6 o'clock for Tim and his band. For more info, thunderroadvt.com or locally on the phone, 244-6963. So, um, this recording just passing through. You did this at uh, Collins in East Montpelier, Colin McCaffrey's. Yes. Yep. And uh, tell us about that process. Uh, it was uh, phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think Colin's going to get sick of me talking him up so much because uh, every time I'm on the radio, I I got nothing but praise but the guy for the guy. I mean, we originally worked together on um, my EP, Three of a Kind, which pre- uh, preceded uh, the full-length CD. And uh, I knew once I worked with him and I got the the results that I it had gone to a new level. Mm-hmm. And I remember telling my friends, I was like, I can't go back. I said, I have to, you know, you just have to, once you get up a step, you have to stay there and keep moving forward. Yep. And so when I had the songs together and I was ready to go, um, like Colin was the first one on the list to call and uh he was uh more than happy to do it and help me out and uh it's because of him that that cd and the, came out as good as it did i mean i always tell people i'm the worst musician on my own cd <laughs> 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 I mean, everyone on there is just stellar i mean you got colin doing uh, not only producing but he's doing uh harmony vocals he's doing fiddle work um doing all the bass tracks then he brought in russ lawton on drums mm-hmm. and eric o'hara on um, pedal steel guitar and uh, we had Jim Pittman come in and do some Dobro work. Nice. And uh, then on Green Mountain Home, um, we had uh, Danny Cohen from the Starline Rhythm Boys. Cool. Uh, Patty Casey and Mark Legrand uh, came in, and they all contributed <laughs> vocals to the to the song, um, which is exactly what I envisioned. I always, um, it, I kind of had like a Will a Circle Be Unbroken type deal. I wanted to feature. Um, Vermont singers. Mm. The song's all about Vermont, so I wanted uh, Vermont voices to deliver that message. And uh, so that's Green Mountain Home, which is uh, part of the Just Passing Through CD. Yep, I believe it's track number eleven. All right, cool. It. Got got it right here in my hand. TimBrickMusic.com for more info about Tim and uh, his music, his shows, what's happening. And uh, this is a fantastic CD. Looks like it came just came out last year. It's uh, got 14 tracks on it. Yep. And uh, it's been getting some airplay here at WDEV. Well, I hear it everywhere <laughs> I go. People are uh, telling me that uh, they hear my music. Every- Actually, I just had it last week. I was talking to a gentleman, and he, uh, we got talking, and I told him my name, and he, he whipped his head around, and he's like, Wow, man, he's like, I hear your music all the time. I, and he, I was like, oh, WDEV? And he's like, yeah, I listen to WDEV all the time. And nice. So I, I'm greatly indebted to WDEV and uh, all the Vermont Radio Group, really, just for their all their support of not only me, but all the local artists around here. I mean, Yeah, well, we like to support Vermont music here at WDEV and uh, like no other station does. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. There's no other station like it, I tell you. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. The listeners don't know uh, how lucky they are to have a station like this that's so integrated into the community. It's yeah. a wonderful thing. You got it, brother. All right, uh, Tim Brick is here. He's going to be performing this Saturday night uh, at the Rawhide Rodeo at Thunder Road, thunderroadvt.com, 6 o'clock start time for Tim and his band. But there's uh, rodeos happening all day Saturday, all day Sunday, lots of stuff going on. How about uh, we got time enough for one more? You got sure. another song? Sure. Uh, this is uh, one of Jack Donovan's favorites off the CD here, so all I'll right. play it. Uh, I'll dedicate it to him. This is a little tune I called, uh, or wrote uh, called Neon Cross. Making my way to Austin Northbound on 35 Six strings by my side Leaving San Antonio Who are all these 
people Flying by my window Tail lights fade into the dawn Well, I've come two thousand miles To find out what I love Was back behind me In the hills of my home Now I'm traveling down a hard road Towards a neon cross They got Jesus on a billboard Flashing his fancy lights Showing me the sins of my life As if I didn't know them Of all the roads I've traveled the scars and the trials that I've survived Well I've come two thousand miles To find out what I love Was back behind me In the hills of my home Now I'm traveling down a hard luck road Towards a neon cross Every road that I choose Leads me in the wrong direction I ask myself Am I too of a neon cross Making my way to Austin Northbound on 35 Six strings by my side Leaving San Antonio Great song. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. That's a sweet one. Tim Brick is in the studio today at WDEV, The Getaway, and uh, again performing this Saturday at the Rodeo and Thunder Road. And where's the show on Friday? Oh, Friday I'm up at uh, Newport Country Club. Hanging with all of my golf buddies. <laughs> <laughs> and what time is that? Oh, uh, uh, go on at 7 o'clock, uh, 7 to 9, uh, and it's uh, going to be just a nice low-key affair with acoustic duo with me and George Seymour. And, uh, yeah, if you're in the Newport area, stop on by. We'd love to see you. Yeah, well, we got the Island Pond Station up there, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah I've been up there a few times. Yeah, yep. nice area. Mm-hmm. All right, Tim Brick is here again at the uh, rodeo on Saturday night, 6 p.m., Rawhide Rodeo, ThunderRoadVT.com, or you can call the Thunder Road office for more information, tickets, or whatever you need, 244-6963, extension 4, or 244-6964, extension 4. Tim, hey, thank you for taking some time today and popping in. Oh, anytime, anytime. It was a pleasure, and... Uh like I said, I just I'm very thankful for not only your support but just WDEV support in general. It's awesome, and uh, the, all the support to all my fans out there too. Thank you, thank you, thank you.